English is not my native language. And when I was in high school, I played so many video games that my English got very good because I was playing so many video games. So when I was learning Russian, I thought at a certain point I was bored in my apartment and I thought, hmm, I might as well start playing video games, find them in Russian in order to improve my Russian. So I went and looked for, and I played um, like many hours at night for um, I think a month or so playing The Witcher 2. And it was a very fun experience. So that's why in this uh, video I want to talk to you about the best video games that you can play in order to improve your Russian. Let's get started. Давайте начнем. The first video game that I recommend everyone who's learning Russian to play is um, Metro 2033 or in Russian Metro 2033. It's a video game that is like a post-apocalypse survival first-person shooter, if I recall correctly how to name it. And you're basically placed in Moscow, in the Metro, as the name suggests. And there has been a, uh, a nuclear war, which has caused everyone on the planet basically to, to go extinct, except for the people that sought shelter in the Metro of Moscow. And so so now it's like 20 years after this war happened and there is a new mutant that has been found and you play as Artyom in one of the stations and you basically need to make a journey throughout the Moscow metro in order to save everyone from this new mutant. And this is very interesting, especially if you've been to Moscow before and if you've been in the Rus Russian metro there, then you can just like realize places where you've been in real life. And that's very cool. Highly recommend this game plus the two follow-ups like Last Light and Exodus. The second game or series that I spent very much time on was the Witcher series, or in Russian it's Vitmak, especially the second and the third one. Uh, the second one just has a great story and the third one is great because it's like an open world and you can spend hundreds of hours there if you want to. Um, this is an RPG, like an adventure RPG, and you play as Gerald, a witcher who has magical powers and he needs to defeat monsters. The great thing about this is that actually a lot, this, it's developed by a Polish studio and which means that some of the mythology parts that are kind of intertwined into it um, makes it make it so that just in Russian the game is so much better than actually in English. I played the second installment in English like six seven years ago and um, I played it in Russian like three or four years ago and in Russian it's just so much cooler to hear him speak. So I also recommend that one if you're into um, kind of like RPG adventure games. If your Russian is not yet good enough to play video games completely in Russian, first try them with English subtitles. And that will also help you already a lot to improve your Russian uh, while just listening to it. And if you want to improve your Russian even more, check out my course, The Conversational Russian Blueprint, in the description, which will help you to speak Russian very well. The third one is a game called Pathologic, or in Russian it's Mor Utopia. And it's a game about, um, it's like a survival horror game and it's about a city that has a weird plague that no one knows what's happening and you come there as one of three healers and you need to solve the riddle basically and the interesting about thing about this game is that you basically i think you have eight days or eight nights in order to solve what's going on and if you don't you just completely lose the game and then you can play it again it's a bit of a slow game so it depends if you like that so it's not like one of the action or shooter games but it has a lot more story to it so if you're more into that Try this game. The fourth series that I recommend are the Stalker series. I only played um, The Shadow of Chernobyl, Ten Chernobyl. Um, and it's it's cool because it's actually based on, it, at least this game was based on a novel, like a very famous novel, Roadside Picnic, uh, Russian literature. And bas you basically play, the, okay, Chernobyl was this radioactive zone and in it, lots of things happened, lots of things mutated and there are lots of treasures to be found. And the stalkers are the guys that, you know, go from the safe zone, go into there in order to capture those, um, those treasures. And it's a first person shooter game with lots of missions and everything. And I actually, while looking this up, figured out that I think this year or next year there will be a new Stalker Heart of Chernobyl because this game is quite old. So if you are into this type of stuff, but you want the new version, then try, um, keep looking out for the new version, like Heart of Chernobyl. Fifth game was Bioshock Infinite. I very much enjoyed this game in English. And then later on, once I figured out that you can actually also uh, play it in Russian, I also went to do that because uh, I, I just really like the Bioshock series because it just, um, they're shooters, but they also have a little bit of this, this magical thing behind it. Plus also the story in them is so, so good that you can also basically just play these games for the story. So, um, yeah, the story of Bioshock Infinite is that there's a, a, a city up in the sky and you accidentally end up there and then it's sort of like a weird capitalism sort of city uh, and then you need to figure out what's actually going on. It's very, a very nice, uh, very nice game. 
sixth game is Kosmichki Rangery, Cosmic Rangers, and you play as a uh, basically as an alien race or as a human race in, in one of the many galaxies that surround us. And there you basically, it's basically like a, a strategy turn-based game where you play in light years and you need to get a resource and spend them on, you know, buying new ships, upgrading technology. But there's also like some, some sort of more like mini games in there. Plus there's, um, there are also some on some planets you can do text-based adventures. Um, and which means that there's a lot of text and your Russian needs to be quite good for this one. But if you're already more advanced, you can try playing this game. The seventh game that is nice to play is a game called Skyrim. It's an uh, RPG, like a role-playing game in which you play one of, I think it's eight races. And you, with each race, like different qualities, some are better at magic and some are better at fighting. And you enter the world of Skyrim and there you basically need to walk around, fight monsters, do missions for other people and get new uh, get new gear and just basically keep on leveling, leveling up, leveling up. Uh, this game is super popular and um, it can also be found in, in Russian. It can be, for, for some of these games, it can be a little bit difficult to actually get them because most people get them through Steam. And on Steam, you kind of need to have uh, like in your settings as well that you actually want to play in Russian. So it can be a little bit of a hassle to find this, but it's possible to play it in that. So if you liked Skyrim before, if you played it before, why not try playing it in Russian? And the eighth game, I could not <laughs> have a video about you know learning Russian with video games if we would not be talking about Call of Duty. I have to admit, I've not played this myself, but every single time I've spoken about people about learning Russian with video games, they all meant it's like, oh, can I play Call of Duty? Because go on a multiplayer um, uh, server and just talk, speak Russian with people there. Uh, I suppose you can, and um, why not? Why not try it out? If you're a fan of the series, then why not do that? Because you can practice some Russian. I'm not sure if you're really gonna learn good Russian words, but stuff like Prikroitsminya and that type of thing, you'll probably learn that. Another thing is that you can also just play the single player campaigns in Russian, so um, that will also help you improve your Russian as well. And the ninth game that you can play in Russian that I very much enjoyed was Dragon Age Origins. I played it many, like 10 years ago, maybe in uh, in English. And once I figured out, it's also available in Russian. And also with the, the voices and the cutscenes, you can also find it in Russian. Then I decided to play it again. Uh, and this is a game in which you, you're you basically in a fantasy world and you need to, you gather like four heroes uh, and that you can level up and need to fight monsters and go on adventures. And there's a nice, a nice plot to it basically where you you need to save the world of course so um i also recommend you play that if you like those more like those you know having a group together and leveling them up, them up and fighting monsters спасибо огромное за просмотр i'm very happy that you watched this video i hope you learned something and i recommend you pick one of those games and just see if you can find it in russian and just play it in russian and then enjoy it пока пока